Okay, hello YouTube. Hopefully today I will be flashing my R900 Omnia to a new ROM. Uh, this will be a custom built ROM by Crunchy and hopefully all will go well and I'll show you the steps from how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need is the Samsung modem XP drivers as we can see here. Now these are available on various flashing websites and all you have to do is download the zip, unzip it and run setup which is an executable. Once that's done, restart the computer and make sure that it's all gone OK. Now, the next thing you'll need is the Microsoft Active Sync. Now, I'm using 4.5 and I've been told that 4.5 is possibly the best one to use. OK, right now, take your USB and your phone, plug it in, we should see it will sync with Active Sync. You've got to make sure it's on the Active Sync setting. Okay, and as we can see here, it is now on Active Sync. Also, the power button will light up once it's connected fully. Also, if we look at Active Sync itself, you can now see that it's synchronized okay. Right. Now, to make sure that the CDMA drivers have installed correctly, go to my computer, into your C drive, program files, and in here there will be a folder called Samsung. You can see that there. And inside here will be the CDMA modem and the driver catalog. Okay. Now, this isn't completely necessary, but I like to make sure that it's gone in OK. What I'll do is open up Device Manager by right clicking my computer and manage. Now, under our Device Manager tab, we have all of our hardware. Now, my Ethernet controller isn't found, but that's OK, and I've also a little sound issue, but that's irrelevant to the problem. OK, now what we want to do is turn the phone off now when I turn it on what we're going to see is at the bottom of the list there will be an unknown device occur and this should be a Samsung meter USB sync so if we now turn the phone on ok now we watch the bottom Scroll down and we have a Samsung MITS USB sync. So it knows that it's got an OK. Even though it is saying that the driver isn't available. However, if we look under the driver tab, Microsoft, and we have a digitally signed driver. OK. Now, all we have to do is download the ROM. Now I like to get my ROMs from Modico, I don't know about you, you may have many sites that do them in different languages and so forth. I find Modico has got a good community. Okay. So if we now look, funny enough that is my ROM that I'm going for. 6.5 ROM from Crunchy. Okay, we'll get the ROMs from the first page. Okay, and from what I have been told and heard many reviews about, I am going to flash to the ultralight 23016-21928 ROM from Clanchy. It's apparently it's very stable, very fast. It is using the classic GUI. However, it seems to be a bit more stable and less buggy than the 6.5.1 ROMs at the moment. So just make sure that is the correct ROM and download. 
Okay, I am a free user. Okay. Now this is why I don't like rapid share because it will be a little hard to get hold of and it can take some time to actually get a slot so I will be back when it has downloaded. Okay now the next step what we have to do is hard reset the Omnia just to check that it's fresh before the flash. How we do this is by putting the stylus into the reset pin there. You will need to hold both of the hardware buttons and then hold the power button. Then you have to turn the phone off and hold this combination and you'll see that it comes up into format mode. Let's try and get a shallow this. There we go. Okay, so start this in. Two buttons held and we'll hold the power button. And then you'll have to hold this for about 5 or 10 seconds. OK, release. And still hold the two hardware buttons. Now if this is done right, you'll get a screen with are you sure you want to format? Which basically is taking them back to the stock realm. So you want to press this call key to format it. And the device will format. Okay, it will take a while to load up on first boot as it's got to process quite a lot of stuff refreshing the ROM. Okay, now I have to realign the device. Unfortunately, my digitizer is going a bit funny. So I have to do this by USB and skip it. I'll be back shortly when the device is fully running. Okay, I'm back now. Hard reset the Omnia and the screen's been realigned. So, as we can see, we are on a completely new stock ROM. Although the screen calibration isn't going to be great at the moment, as my screen is going a bit funny. Now just a bit of background on this phone, if we look at, about this is build 20270, also we can see the phone version, now I'm using the latest official English ROM, which is MSHJ1 and comes with the XAH5 flashed phone part, this was straight from an official Samsung update and there we go okay so we close these right now I'll need to boot back into XP just make absolutely certain that in your settings and your connections tab and your USB connection you've got active sync as the connection type Okay, and we're we're ready to flash. <laughs> 